Hi, I'm Dave O'Higgins with Pocket Practice Idea Number Two. This video is made in collaboration with Wind and Brass World and Van Doren UK. Today I'm going to look at the two and five chords of a major cadence. I think of them as Batman and Robin, inseparable, and yet you only really have to think about the main man. Here are the notes of the two, the five, and the one chord in a full C major cadence. Now I'm going to play a 3, 5, 7, 9 upper structure on each chord, resolving to the root. You'll hear that it's a melodic sound that we've become very familiar with. I think of just the dominant, that's the 5 chord, when I see a 2-5. The notes of the dominant from the top down would be like this. There are four important 7th chords that live within the G7. One on the 7th, F major 7. One on the 5th, D minor 7. One on the 3rd, B half diminished and, of course, the root, G7, like this. Here is the same line with the octave displaced to make it more playable. There are several different permutations in which you can displace the octaves. I'll demonstrate four of them now. Each time I resolve to C major 7, I play a different phrase at the end. Each one of these lines is standard vocabulary, and it would be a good exercise for you to try and put them through all of the keys as some additional material. These lines are probably too much to digest and transpose in one go, so I recommend playing the first two bars resolving on the E and then stopping there, like this. <laughs> Here's the second line. Here's the third line. And here's the fourth one. Do this in every key in each permutation, register permitting. Happy practicing! <laughs> 